My name is Tracy Luno. I'm the creative and owner of Vintage Revive Design and Decor. Today I am here with Amy Howard at home and her curb appeal contest. I'm so excited to take part in. I'm going to be using her miracle paint again. This stuff is wonderful. We're going to be giving this front door a makeover. We chose the color Midsummer Nights. It's a beautiful um, it's a beautiful, it's a deep green, and I thought it would be a great contrasting color against the red brick. But if you're going to paint your front door, I suggest you try out the Miracle Paint. <laughs> it has UV protection in it. It has the primer and the sealer already in it. It's just paint and done. Um, You'll want to clean your surface with um, the clean slate, of course. But after you do your clean slate, um, wash that down, leave it about five minutes, let that dry. And if your surface is smooth, if you run your hand across it and you don't feel any paint flaking or uh, rough edges, then you're good to go. But if you do, then I would suggest using the necessary grit sandpaper or sander to knock that down uh, smooth because you do want to start with a smooth surface. And I'm going to use again Amy's inch and a half synthetic brush and you can roll it on and you can spray it on but I just really love a brush and I don't have to worry about brush strokes with um, the Miracle Paint because of the self-leveling agent in it. It's just all around wonderful paint. It is paint and done. That's it. So let's get started. So right here I'm just adding some tape around the glass front of this storm door to protect it and make it a little less tedious work on me with the paintbrush. You can see I've already painted the right rail of the storm door and that's because I have two colors I'm going to be painting with today. One is a beautiful green called Midsummer Nights, and the other is a red called Shawl Red. I plan on painting the storm door as well as the front door, and I'm also going to be painting two flower pots. So what I did was, well, I wasn't exactly certain if I was going to paint the door red and the flower pots green or vice versa. So I painted the left rail of the storm door red and the right rail of the storm door green so I could step back and get a feel of which one was going to look better. I considered the red because within the principles of Feng Shui, the color red is considered to be good luck for a front door. It's supposed to represent good fortune. Red is such a powerful color and it symbolizes protection and transformation of negative energy as well. But I ultimately decided to go with Midsummer Nights because on a practical level, your front door is one of the most important areas of your home. It represents the face of your home and what everyone sees. It sort of sets the tone for your visitors and um, you know, lets them know what to expect when entering your home. To me, the Midsummer Nights is a beautiful coastal green, and I think it's gonna tie in nicely with the interior decor of this home. Plus, it's a lovely complimentary color for the red brick on the exterior. For the storm door, there was not much prep involved. All I did was wipe it down with the clean slate to remove all of the dirt and dust and debris. I let that sit roughly five minutes and then I began the painting. The same with the front door. It was a fairly neatly painted door and uh, it was about as smooth as it was going to get. So I didn't sand it. I just wiped it down with the clean slate let it sit for about five minutes and started to paint. I did tape around the lock set and handle 
to add some protection as I'm not planning on changing those out just yet. You may have noticed the change in clothes here in the video. Oh my goodness, do I have a story for you. Well, I decided that it was going to be easier on me to paint the front door from inside the house. So, I turned the camera off to move it and the ring light inside to film from a different angle and then I brought in my ladder and my paint well my lid was not on the paint can very well <laughs> oh my goodness it was just sitting on the second step of the ladder and I tripped over the threshold as I was walking in with it and I guess you can take a wild guess as to what happened next. Yes, it spilled everywhere. I had the biggest mess you have ever seen in your life. Paint went everywhere all down the front of my apron all in the pocket on the front of my apron all down the front of my pants all over my shoes all over my feet all over the floor everywhere I just stood there frozen in shock for a second a funny thing was I had this strange feeling that something strange was gonna happen like that and I was trying so extra careful not to let that happen and it did then it hit me oh no I have got to save this paint because I had a deadline for the curb appeal contest and there was no time to order more paint so we grabbed a spatula and we just started scraping it all back up into the can. I just got uh, an old pair of stockings and I filtered what paint I was able to salvage through the stockings to make certain I wasn't painting with any dirt or debris from the floor. Thankfully, as you can see, it all worked out just fine in the end and I did have enough paint to finish the project, but I'll tell you, I was very worried there for a minute. And here I am after I got everything all cleaned up and got my clothes changed and I'm putting the first coat on the door. I want to take a quick second here and just speak about the fear of painting your door or painting anything for that matter. Don't be scared. It is just paint. If you don't like it, you can always paint over it. But with Amy's Miracle Paint, it is formulated so well it makes painting seem effortless. Painting this door, it was just, it was so easy. I did use my spray mister bottle when I noticed the paint getting a little dry on my brush. Ever so often, I would um, spray it with water before I reloaded it. I noticed I was getting better coverage that way. The great thing about this water-based enamel formula is I'm getting the superior coverage from an enamel paint, an oil-based enamel, with the ease of a water-based paint. And what I mean by ease is, you know, sometimes when you're painting with oil-based enamels, they'll get real thick and heavy in your brush and drag and sometimes become a little difficult to work with. But that is not the case with this water-based enamel. I got great coverage out of this first coat, but you can tell it's definitely going to need a second coat. I know some of you might would prefer to rolling the paint on, but like I said, there is just something about a brush 
that I just love. It's like therapy to me. I am definitely the happiest with a brush in my hand. Right here you can see I took the mister bottle and I sprayed the brush a couple of, well front and back before I did, reloaded it back into the paint and I just felt like um, I was getting better coverage that way. So this is the second and final coat going on here now. And as you can see, it is effortlessly gliding on and starting to look just beautiful. It is just exactly what was needed to make this front porch come alive and look so inviting. As you may know, this transformation is part of the Amy Howard at Home Curb Appeal Contest. Myself and a couple other members from her Old World Finishing School and her Inner Circle group were asked to compete in this contest for a top prize of $500. Oh my gosh, how exciting! The winner will be chosen by you and your votes, so I certainly hope that if you like this transformation that you'll take a quick second and click on the link and vote for me. I also hope that you will share the video. If you like, share, and tag three friends in the video, you'll have a chance to win a can of Miracle Paint in the color of your choice to transform your own front door.
Okay, last but not least, the shawl red that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Here I'm just painting one thin coat of that shawl red onto these large planners. Now, this is all you're going to see me do to these planners. I am not even going to put a second coat on them right now because I really like how the two-toned effect of the darker color of the planner looks as it's showing through under the shawl red. I may go back later and do a black glaze over it to set off more of the details in the basket weave on the planner, but for now, I am leaving it as is. here um, because I had two of these large planners to do I got a little help from my better half we love to paint together it's something we both enjoy doing and he's pretty good at it too Well guys, here we are. We have made it to the end. 
I am ready to get this porch put back together and show you the reveal. And here's a quick reminder just to show you what it looked like before. Well, here it is, all finished and put back together. What do you think? I am in love with the way it turned out. I think it truly added curb appeal to the house. It looks so inviting now. Throw in some beautiful flowers and it is just perfect. I hope you like it too. I hope you've enjoyed watching the transformation and have maybe been inspired to paint your own front door. I also hope you will vote for me in the contest. You can find me and more awesome projects and transformations that I've created on my website at TracyLonoVintageRevivedDesign.com or visit my Facebook page, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, and TikTok. And for paints and supplies I use today, you can use my affiliate link to amyhowardhome.com forward slash pound Tracy Luno Vintage Revive Design. Thank you for watching today.